Hey y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and today I would like to talk to you about the technology that I use in my craft room. I have had a couple of subscribers ask if I would do a video talking about the printers and just different technology pieces that I use. So I thought I would walk you through some of the tools that help my crafting life um, be a little bit easier. Let's go. Okay, the first piece of technology that I use in my craft room is of course my computer. I work with a MacBook Pro. This is one that I saved up for a long time to buy and am really enjoying it. The two programs I use the most would be the Silhouette Studio and this works in conjunction with my Silhouette Cameo. It allows me to design to purchase uh, files from the Silhouette Design Store and to just create different cut files. So I'm still learning about this, but I use this pretty frequently to cut out different um, patterns and designs that I use in crafting. And then the other program that I use a lot would be iMovie. So I do all of my editing for my YouTube videos on iMovie. I am currently in the process of learning how to use Final Cut Pro. It's just taking me a little bit longer than I anticipated. So currently I use iMovie. It's very intuitive as just dragging and dropping videos in. You can edit them, you can add voiceovers. So I've enjoyed using it to create my YouTube videos. In case you are wondering what mount I use to film my videos, I use this one that I pulled off of Amazon. What I like about it is that it can swing completely out of the way when I'm just wanting to craft on my own. And then when I'm ready to video, I swing it back in. I film all my videos using my iPhone. I have an iPhone 10 plus that does a great job, has a great camera quality, and I haven't ever felt like I needed a different camera. This is the printer that I currently use. It is an HP OfficeJet Pro 8025, and my husband and I purchased it on Black Friday with a great Black Friday deal on Amazon. And there are two big pluses to it. The Printing quality is great. It has just been wonderful for printing out all kinds of digital files and printable files from Print and Pray Shop and various planner places. And I really like the Instant Ink program. So Instant Ink is a program that HP provides where you pay a monthly fee and they send you ink cartridges based on when you need them. So your printer communicates with HP and lets it know when you are running low and then you receive new ink cartridges in the mail so you never run out. And then they provide a way that you can recycle your old ink cartridges, which works out great for the environment as well. We definitely wrestled with whether to get a laser printer or stick with inkjet and we decided for our needs we would stick with inkjet. I know the quality is really great on laser printers but I couldn't justify the cost of the printer or the refill on the ink cartridges so we stuck with inkjet and I am loving it. It communicates with my computer wirelessly. It has been fantastic. I have not tried printing photos on my HP printer because I use my Epson PictureMate. So it is nice and compact, fits here right on my card catalog holder, and it plugs in. You open it up when you're ready to print, load in paper right here. It communicates with my phone through different printing software. These are the sizes that you are able to print. And of course, if you create collage prints on your phone, you can get smaller pieces. The print quality has been fantastic. The printer cartridges last a good amount of time. I've been really pleased. And this has been a really functional photo printer for me that I have enjoyed. Let me share a little bit about the paper that I used to print on. I actually ordered uh, this HP Premium 32 paper on accident a few months ago, and I have loved it. It is somewhere in between the weight of a regular copy paper and a really nice cardstock. It prints beautifully. It is a bright white. It has a beautiful, smooth texture, and I use it for almost all of my printing of digital papers. It has been fantastic. The other thing I print on more often than not is this white cardstock, the Nina Bright White. It's because it really truly is a brighter white cardstock. The um, poundage 65 pounds, so it's not too thick, so it goes through the printer easily. And it also works great on printables that you're planning on cutting out. 
And of course, we all love clear sticker paper. This is the Avery full sheet shipping labels. They have gotten pricier since I started using them a few years ago, but I like to print out things on here so that they um, are on translucent sticker paper that kind of melts into my Bible pages. Works out fantastically. As far as apps, the Pick Tap Go app is the one that I use to edit all my photos. It allows you to brighten, adjust color, and do all kinds of effects on your photos. And it also saves the recipes, if you will, for the ones that you use most often. So it makes photo editing go pretty fast. For printing straight from my smartphone to my photo printer, I use the Print to Size app and this allows me to put multiple photos on one sheet. You can size the sheet as a four by six or a five by seven and size the photos as I need so that I can um, print them out and use them in my memory keeping projects. The other photo printer that you may have heard me talk about on my channel is the HP Sprocket. And this is my Sprocket I received a couple of years ago for Christmas. I love it. This is fantastic for traveling. So I took my HP Sprocket with me when my husband and I did an anniversary trip to Italy because I knew I wanted to document while we were there. It's fantastic. It communicates with your phone wirelessly. You print out the photos and the photo paper I get um, has a sticky back. So you peel off the back and it becomes a sticker, makes it really easy to use in your memory keeping projects. All you have to do is charge your sprocket with kind of a standard charger over here. As you can see, this is the end and it is super simple and I really really enjoyed using it. The quality of the photos is not the best. It's not as good as my picture mate, but when we are traveling, it's awesome to use. And if I were printing photos for like a planner or just a project that I didn't need that high quality, I would love to use this because the ease of having the photo already have the sticky back is fantastic. Another piece of technology that I use a lot in my craft room is my Silhouette Cameo. I received this for my birthday last May and have loved learning how to use it. I am still a beginner for sure. I keep mine up here. It has a little storage place for tools right here. You open it and it is ready to go. It works through Bluetooth to communicate with my computer. So you saw the Silhouette Design software that I'm able to use and then I send my cut file over to the Cameo. It is fantastic. I had a hard time deciding between the Cameo and Cricut, but I decided that for my needs, the Cameo was great because you can work offline and the Silhouette Design software was fantastic and easy to use. All right, and last but not least, I get questions about the lights that I use on my desk. And I use these lights for filming. And I literally just found these on Amazon by looking up lights for YouTube filming. And I picked these because they have a smaller footprint than those large kind of umbrella lighting styles. And I didn't want the lighting to kind of take over in my office because YouTube is just a part-time thing for me. It's just something I do for fun. These have worked pretty well. I do wish I had them at a higher angle because it does create some weird lighting at times, but I'm usually able to adjust it as far as um, on iMovie to kind of create a better lighting visual. But I will link these down below if you're interested in checking them out. Thank you for joining me on this little walk through the technology that I use in my craft room. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. I love to hear from you and I always like to respond. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I have linked all of the supplies down below so you can check them out. And I also have a link below to an email list that I have started. I send out a newsletter every couple of weeks with organization tips and crafty fun, just all kinds of fun things, including previews of upcoming videos. So if you are interested in joining in on all the fun of that newsletter, check out the link below. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.